Hey, everybody, everybody. Um, this is the day the Lord has made. Um, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Um, got up this morning just um, thanking God and praising God, as I do every day. But it really um, hit me hard on today about how awesome God is and how he's been um, to me during all this uh, time of shutdown and uh, the pandemic. Um, my mind really went back into detail about how the Lord just brought me through that uh, season of COVID because I am a survivor and I thank God, really thank God for it. Um, I get emotional because so many were praying for me. There were individuals praying for me. Um, I did not know, you know, it was coming my way, knew it was out there. Um, I didn't go out there and get it. It came to me, but nonetheless, as a lesson and a testimony uh, for me behind it and um, I'm appreciative and I thank God for it. The very first thing that I did when uh, I found out that I had it for sure was that I called my family and uh, thank God for my sister and brothers and uh, those that are close to me um, praying with me and that's one thing we did every single day. Uh, man, Dorcas is like Determined, you gonna we gonna see you every day. So we did video calls and pray, praise, and worship, and that's what got me through. And you know, I'm not a person that's sickly. I, I don't get sick, so I wasn't even aware that I even had it. Just thinking, you know, it's sinus because I suffer with sinus sometimes, and then it goes away. So it didn't bother me, it didn't appear to me. But as it progressed, one thing that it did do. I have a strong immune system. One thing they did through, I had rough nights. You know, breathing at night was a difficult thing. A dry cough and trying to speak when you cough, uh, or when you, when, uh, trying to speak and coughing at the same time, you know, was difficult. But I thank God for uh, Tabitha. I mean, um, uh, 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 health intelligence, I say, just kicked in. And the grand boy, uh, they really ministered to me and um, nurse me back. I mean, I didn't, you know, had to be bedridden, but at night it was something that God, uh, let me experience. And then during that time, he let me, uh, experience how, uh, people that live a life of prophetic and, uh, dear friend and, and, uh, I love her dearly as I was up early in the morning. It was wee hours of the morning and, uh, received the text from Pastor, Aretha Williams didn't know, uh, no, she didn't know at the time what was going on. And it ministered to me, ministered to me. And I held on to that text and read it. And she continued to communicate with me. I didn't say a lot to uh, a lot of people, not that I was keeping a secret or anything, but uh, hey, the virus is nothing to play with. You have those seasons when you just can't do anything. You don't feel like doing anything. No, no pain in my body. I didn't experience fever, but that nighttime was detrimental. And uh, the one thing that really uh, still disturbs me to this day is uh, my first cousin, uh, Elise, called and we prayed every day and she checked on me every day. And uh, when I was up and um, rid of it and life back into my uh healthy situation again she contracted it and um, I uh, did for her what she did for me but she didn't make it and uh, it's still something very hard for me to continue with when I think about it because um, she's the last first cousin on my mother's side that that whole entire family uh, her mom her dad all of her brothers and she was the last one to live and that that um, family and uh, she passed away and we were close. We talked every day. I didn't expect it to happen, but I'm telling you, it, it's, I'm still shook and shaken by it and listening to everybody else's experiences. But this is the one thing that I know for sure that God is real and that praise, prayer and worship is key because I know that God lives in worship. 
he lives in worship and I want to stay where he lives. So that means I have to worship God, you know, and I, I, I one of my favorite scriptures in the whole world, Psalms 27, uh, verse four, say one thing that I desire of the Lord. And that one thing I seek after and I seek after it every day is that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And it goes on to say that, you know, the time that you spend in there in his presence, you have questions. I want to inquire. I want to know everything about God. And I know that he lives in worship and I know that he lives in praise. So that's what I want to stay. And I want to encourage everybody. Uh, I'm, things are not over. They're, this, everything is not over with yet. But I've recommitted to stay committed to my call. Um, I'm a soul winner and I want people to know Jesus. I want people to uh, uh, go beyond what you've been doing ministry wise and see God as never before, as never before, because God is in control and things, you know, happen. You know, many didn't know this was happening. We, we didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. But as we thought about it, and as I thought about it, God was preparing me for times such as this. Didn't know that I would be shut in. And it's more than a notion. I mean, I have literally watched my grandson go through, uh, grow into about three different sizes. Uh, when it started last year, he had all his teeth. He lost teeth and they coming in uh, crooked and everything. And his whole look has changed. I'm home with him 24 seven. I've watched him grow. And the Lord taught me a lesson even through that, watching him grow. I saw myself growing, growing deeper in him and, and learning more about him, um, spending time with him in word. And that's what I encourage. I, I listen to things and seeing individuals ministering on social medias. And I'm going to continue to encourage everybody to just go forth as a, you never as never before. So many fallen by the wayside uh spiritually hey pick it up you know let's let's do this thing some of some people you know i've listened to and wow it seems like you know going backwards um ministry wise you know let's not be bewitched by things that are happening around us but turn it up you know and see god as never before because this is a new season of ministry, a different type of ministry that we're going through that we have to, to, to put forth for the world. And so uh, be encouraged. That's what I want you to know to do. Be encouraged. This whole season, this taught me this as I read scripture and as I learn more uh, through experiences during this time that He's going to see us through. He's seeing us through. He's seeing me through. I read Matthew chapter 14 uh, several times and it's blessed me. Each time I've got something different from us. Jesus told the disciples after a season of feeding the multitude, this one particular time, he told his disciples, look, get into the boat and I want you to go to the other side. Just get in the boat, go to the other side. And then he went up into the mountain, the word of God says, to pray. During their travel to get to the other side, a storm took place. In the midst of them obeying what God said, a storm took place. And it looked like they weren't going to go to the other side. But this is one thing that blessed me. He went up to the mountain to pray. And I want to encourage everybody with this. If the Lord tells you to do something, do it. Get in the boat. Go to the other side. I don't care what happens in the middle. Storms going to come. Family situations going to come. Sickness is going to come. Financial difficulties are going to come. Disruptions are going to come. Storms, waves. The, your boat may rock. But if Jesus said go to the other side, remember this. He's up in the mountain. He's at an advantage point. He see everything that's going on. You really don't have to get nervous because if he said, go to the other side, you're going to make it to the other side. So everybody, let's turn it up. Turn up your praise, turn up your worship, because that's where Jesus lives. He lives in your praise and in your worship. He inhabits it. That's where he dwells. So if the praise and worship is in you and you're in the boat, your situation is going on and he said, go, 
you're going to make it to the other side. Be encouraged. I'll pray for you. Will you pray for me? Blessings forevermore in Jesus' name.